Welcome back to another episode of the Everyday Joy Podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. We are going to dive straight into the Word of God today. So why don't you grab your Bible and let's get ready to dive deeper into the Word of God. 1 Corinthians 13, 7, the TLB version. If you love someone, you will be loyal to them, no matter what the cost. You'll always believe in them, always expect the best of them, and always stand your ground in defending them. Beautiful, Jen. We are wrapping up the week on another Friday. Yay for Friday. Yay for Friday. Okay, I have to ask you a question. Okay. Now, I might be like a part of the 3%. I know that's a random statistic. I don't actually (laughs) know the real life statistic. I love football. Like AFL. Uh, Okay. I am an AFL gal. I love that. Have you ever been an AFL gal? No. Are you a sport gal? Uh, Only tennis. Tennis. That's the only sport I really understand. Everything else just goes over my head. Yeah. So fair. I'm I'm an AFL gal. And so I am so excited for the AFL season to start. It's like, I don't know. I think I just grew up in a household where we just watch football a lot. And so it's like. A, a, a small passion of mine. <laughs> I never saw it coming, to be no, honest. That's so funny. I know. I feel like I'm not your stereotypical <laughs> AFL gal, but I like follow all these Instagram accounts. It's like AFL girlies. <gasps> and it's all these girls who just love AFL. And anyway, I'm just, I love it. <laughs> that is so cool. I We're love. finding out so much, Jen. Found out that Jen isn't even your real name. Nope. You found out that I'm an AFL girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the learnings this week. It's so cool. So we're looking at 1 Corinthians 13, 7. Oh, love this verse. What are your thoughts around this, Jen? It's so much love. And this I feel like this week is all about love. It really is. Didn't even mean it to be, but it is. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's it, it's what the Holy Spirit's telling us. Yeah. Let's focus on the love. Let's focus on peace, um, being gentle with each other. And I feel like this verse really wraps up this week. Mm. If you love someone, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. I mean, at first I was like, really? At what cost? Is it <laughs> really cost? But no, I, coming back to it. It is, everything here is a really beautiful definition of love. And my first thought was, God, only God can really show me this type of love. Um, And I'm going to try my best to be exactly what God has told me, to be loyal no matter what, and to believe in them and always expect the best. And it's, it's really changing my mind to go, no, let's not focus on the negative let's focus on the positive so that's my first thoughts Mm. it kind of relates to yesterday's episode Mm -hmm. where we kind of talked about how so often we go straight to negativity and i think man it happens so often in relationships in friendships no matter what it is i just feel like we're all so guilty of not seeing the best of people or expecting the best of people when when things happen Mm. our first thought is always why did you do this to me you're not (laughs) listening all these things but actually if we if we kind of go okay how do i believe the best of people and i think that if we live our whole lives only expecting the worst and thinking the worst Mm. it's almost this perpetual misunderstanding perpetual disappointment yeah Whereas if we believe the best in people, like we almost we almost can change any circumstance to be good. Yeah. It's just having that positivity kind of positivity band-aid on it. Yes. And I think what you said there, positivity band-aid, it's I think that it gets a bad rap being mm-hmm. positive sometimes. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like everyone's kind of like, well, you're just faking being positive. But I actually think there is a way to look at any scenario even if it's negative Mm. even if it's bad and go okay god like help me to see the good in this help me to see what you're doing in this because it really does change the way we go about it when i just love that line where it says always expect the best of them Mm. and stand your ground in defending them you know it makes me think about like relationships and my relationships with tobes and we kind of talked about this earlier about a different episode but Particularly when it comes to relationships, I would say the majority of mine and Toby's arguments 
come out of not expecting the best of them, Mm. right? Expecting that a decision they make, something that they say is them deliberately like trying to hurt us. Yeah. But how often is it just either miscommunication, Mm -hmm. misunderstanding, unawareness, whatever it is. Like we were kind of laughing before that men and women are so different. So different. So different. And I think that the sooner in a relationship – and, and also, not even just men and women. People are different. Mm-hmm. The, the sooner you can realize that everyone thinks, does, acts yeah. so differently, and often it is not out of anything but our characteristics, our habits, mm-hmm. our, our upbringing, it can actually help us resolve a lot of things when we realize like we're just different and we process things differently, yeah. we think differently, we articulate things differently. And I have really had to learn coming into my relationship with Toby, Mm. particularly this, I have to always believe in him. I have to always expect the best of him. And I have to always stand my ground defending him. If I can do all those things, man, like how loved, seen, cherished is Toby going to feel? And how different is that going to make our arguments or our disagreements because it's not two people clashing it's us having a misunderstanding and working out how we can do better yep i remember when i kev and i were in a therapy session i can't remember why i think we were just we're at a point of our relationship they were like okay what's going on why do we keep fighting over the same thing again and again I'm like we need to see someone we need to bring someone else um just to speak it out someone neutral someone we don't know i love that and it was really good for our relationship there was one thing that i took out of it that i still remember this was like 10 years ago you are in this relationship you are actually not trying to hurt each other. Mm. This is the person that you chose. And the things that you're saying isn't to actually hurt each other. You're actually speaking because either yourself is hurt or they are hurt and you're just responding. You need to understand that these are just emotions and don't let the emotions hurt you. And that just changed a lot of my relationships in friendships and in my relationship with my husband because I get to go, hang on, we're not hurting each other. We're just hurt in the same situation. We're not each other's enemies. Um, and it's hard. In, it was hard for me in one particular relationship that I had with a friend and I felt like she was always defending everyone but me. And so I always was like, why? Why don't you just defend me? I thought you loved me and then when I said I was like oh Jen what are you saying why are you expressing all this to your on your friend when she's not actually defending other people she's giving you the facts I wish I had this verse back then just to remind myself that we're not hurting each other Mm -hmm. this is just a two-way relationship that we do love each other in a relationship in a friendship way we do expect the best for each other and it's just emotions taking hold. That is such a great thought. Man, emotions lie to us yes. so much. And emotions are heightened and dropped in in, in the span of 10 seconds, mm-hmm. right? I love that thought, Jen. It's this thing of God's kind of going, you need to be able to trust in them enough that your emotions don't sway your situation mm. so so much and i'm so guilty of this i'm an emotional gal I, I i i have many many moments of highs and lows but i think this verse really reminds me like i need to believe the best in people yeah. i need to stand my ground defending them you know and i think that when someone when someone knows that you will love them unconditionally, like everything we've spoken about mm. in this week's episodes about love, it will completely change our relationship because we know that we're loving them like Jesus and we're loving them wholeheartedly with a heart of forgiveness, with a heart of gentleness, always ready to believe them, always ready to see the best in them. And that is like the safest spot you could sit in a relationship. Mm-hmm. 
This week has been all about love, all about being gentle, all about believing in people. Man, it's such an easy thing to let our thoughts slip to the negative, to the disapproving, to the disappointed, to the frustrated. But this week, whether it's in your marriage, your friendships, your relationships, let's see the best in people. Let's take time to know and expect the best of them. I hope that this week's episodes reminded us how to love well. Man, if the Lord of Lords loves you and loves me, how can we love other people? I can't wait to dive even deeper into the Word of God with you next week. But until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy.